Hi, I'm Erica Wise, and I'm a climatologist and a professor at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Now, there's a lot of interesting things you could study about the Earth's climate, and I'm trying to figure out what the Earth's climate was like hundreds of years ago. Unfortunately, people weren't out there with thermometers and rain gauges until about 100 or 150 years ago. So I have to look for other clues left in nature about what the climate was like. There's actually an amazing number of clues out there um, in ice cores, corals, even the mud at the bottom of lakes. But I use something you might be able to find in your own backyard. Trees. Now, what can trees tell us about climate? Well, some trees grow in really harsh conditions. And that's great for me because I really like unhappy trees. So trees that are growing in harsh conditions, if it's not warm enough or it's not wet enough, they can't grow. So if it's cold or if it's dry, they grow just a little bit. If it's warm or it's wet, they grow a lot. So we just need to find those trees and take a sample. Now, these types of samples called cross sections are great because you can really see all the rings. But we don't take these in a tree unless it's already dead because we don't want to kill any trees. So if the tree is still alive, we take a small sample using something called an increment bore, or we can just drill into the tree and pull out a small kind of straw shaped sample. And when we have that, we can still see all of the rings in the tree without really harming the tree. So do you see how there's a light part and a dark part in each across this whole core sample? Well, a light part and a dark part together make one year of growth. We can use that in case we have this sample, but we don't know where it goes in time. You see, all trees, if they're growing in the same area, are experiencing the same climate. So they have the same patterns of narrow and wide rings. And we can use that kind of like a barcode to match up trees where we do know the years with trees that we don't know the years. So we can assign dates and time. So here's an example. These are real tree ring data that we've printed out big so you can see it. So here's an example where we know the outside year of this tree ring sample is the year 1900. Then we have another sample where we don't know where it goes in time, but we can slide these together until we find a match in the pattern, and that's called cross-dating. And so then we can use what we know about this sample to assign years to this sample and put it in time. So that's all part of being a tree ring detective. And so the next time you're outside and you see the stump of a tree, see if you can see any patterns in the tree rings. Thanks for watching. I'm Erica Wise, and I'm a North Carolina scientist. For more content like this, check out ncscifest.org. Thanks.